Tito here with Aloha Android. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today's video is going to be focused around the ZTE Warp Elite, but this is not the full review. It's just there's um, something pretty cool about this device I wanted to share with you guys after having it for a couple of days. And um, I'm trying to get it to where I can shorten the actual review video so it's not like an hour long because I really want there's a lot of things about the Warp Elite that's very awesome. And it's a very good phone, so if you're actually interested in picking up this device, if you guys want to hear it from me right now, I say that this is a 10 out of 10 straight out. This is worth every penny that you spend on it. It runs very, very well, but we'll get into that with the review on Monday. But for today, I want to talk about customization that's native built into the device itself. So um, what I mean by that is that you can actually customize the stock launcher. You don't have to download an additional launcher. If you want to do just some mild uh, customizations, you can do it with this device. So if you long press the screen, it brings up this little menu right here, and you have different tabs. Now you have widgets and wallpapers, which you already know how to apply those. You know, everyone does that runs Android. Then you have themes, which I'll select that. You have three different th uh, themes that you can uh, select from. There's the stock Android, which you know basically is what you're used to. All your apps look exactly how they do from the Play Store downloaded from the actual developer. You have Fancy, which kind of gives like this, um, I'll select it so you guys can see. But it gives it like a box with rounded corners effects on the um, application icons, which is pretty neat. And then of course your your app drawer icon changes to like the four different color um, miniature squares. And yeah, like I said, it themes all your app icons, so that's pretty nice and then another one that you have in themes is sport which is similar to fancy it's just all the icons are now in, in rounded bubbles so and then of course you'll notice the camera has changed throughout the different ones and um, so I think that's actually that's actually pretty cool another thing that you can do besides the themes is the effects the way that the screen transitions between home screens and you have all these different effects that you can do uh, which is is pretty nice, you know. I mean, without having to download an additional launcher and adding a an aftermarket launcher, you can use the stock launcher and just give it its own slight mild customization and have effects like that. Icons look like that. That's pretty awesome. I really um, dig um, manufacturers who add this in into their devices. It's something that's pretty cool. So you can really tell that ZTE is actually stepping its game up. It's really thinking about its consumers and what types of consumers they have and what they like about um, smartphones and they're trying to incorporate that into their devices so that's something that's pretty neat I wanted to share with you guys so if you guys enjoyed this video leave me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not share on your social media get it out to your friends and family out there and uh, follow me on mine links in the description my name is Tito with Aloha Android thank you guys for tuning in with this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye